Let's try a little experiment. I've had these bricks soaking in water so they're nice and hydrated. And I think I could be able to break the concrete off using my blow torches. Well, that doesn't seem to be doing much of anything, just drying it out. I don't think it's really doing anything. Well, that worked. That wasn't bad either. Although, I have a feeling that this is just going to happen anyway. I do wonder if perhaps heating it up, maybe there's a different expansion rate. Yeah, like this stuff at the bottom is really not going at all. You know, there might actually be something to this. So, we have this piece, which is two bricks put together. Pretty tough. Let's see if we can make it expand. Yeah, it's a little bit stiff. Seems about right though. Let's work on this section, then we can see if we can try to split this in half with the fire. Is really hot. That's still 70, 73 degrees Celsius compared to hand temperature. Wow. This stuff stays pretty hot, and that is 530 degrees Celsius. See that the heat actually didn't penetrate all the way, it only went like halfway through. Man, the wind's getting a little bit bad out here. Well, I'm sorry, but evidently my Thermap camera decided to be a part of the internet of bullshit. I'm gonna do an update thing. Whoops. Oh, I shouldn't do it like that. I didn't actually heat up this part though, so I'm thinking if I were to bake some bricks. 
that might actually make them easier to work with. And I already did. I started a fire and I threw some fire brick in there that had some concrete on them, so we can maybe test with that. I just set it down, and all this came off. Oh, yes! This is so wonderful. Oh my fucking god, that's exactly what I'm wanting. Oh my god. The rest will be pretty easy. So this could use a bit more heat. But this one got plenty of heat. Sweet! I'm so happy with this. You know, I'm really pleased by this. At first I was wanting to use acid and that didn't really work. But I, I didn't really know if I wanted to deal with that much acid. I wanted to see about burning these and I thought that they were going to be popping and crackling a lot because the water would expand inside the concrete. I wasn't even thinking that I could remove the concrete off the refractory brick via heat, like making one expand bigger than the other. Like expansion or whatever. Thermal expansion, that's the term. And so I was thinking that this would still be kind of a little bit dangerous with like them popping and crackling and little bits of concrete flying everywhere. But with this, I'm basically just cooking them, and it's not that bad. So most likely what I'm going to do is I'll just make a nice little kiln, and we can just have a nice big fire and just make sure these things get really well heated up. Or maybe I can modify this to where I have, like, something to hold the bricks on top and then keep throwing wood underneath. Either way, in a future video, we can work on a method to heat up and bake all those bricks, and then we can easily break all the, the concrete chunks off of them. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm really happy that I won't have to re resort to using, like, the liquid fuel for these, because getting wood is so much easier. So this is pretty nice. I'm really happy with this, and I think I can now get a bunch of my refractory brick cleaned up and maybe make myself a nice little kiln and a forge and stuff like that, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!